All right, let's move on and take a look at our second core mindset of innovators. This one I like to call Video Killed the Radio Star. Many of us remember the song, 1979 actually, first song ever played on MTV, appropriately so. Here's what it means for us. It's about letting go of the past in, over, in order to seize the possible. It's a willingness to defy traditions, challenge underlying assumptions, and lean into new possibilities. As I was building my own company, I had a saying, I would repeat it again and again and again, that someday a company will come along and put us out of business. Might as well be us. Video killed the radio star. One of the most innovative ice cream companies, of course, is Ben & Jerry's. Kind of wonder, how do they stay so innovative? Well, one of the things that they do is that they're willing to let go of what was to make room for new, fresh ideas. So when a flavor is no longer successful, they bury it. No, I mean literally, they bury it. They host a business funeral. They celebrate the flavor and all the good it's done in the past, but they clear the way for new ideas. In fact, on their website, welcome to check it out, they have a graveyard for the dead and buried. And uh, it's very clever. This is Wavy Gravy, for example, 93 to 01, it was terrific. But now they let it go. Think about the message that this allows for, for this, this incredible company to continue to push the creative boundaries. This morning, I'm gonna share a couple very simple techniques, little takeaways that you can take back into, the, into your work and put them into action. And the first one, borrowed from our friends at Ben & Jerry's, is simply the business funeral. In other words, is there a system or an approach or a process that you're using maybe for months or years or even decades that it's time to celebrate it? Not a criticism of the past, but let's, let's give it its due in the sun, let it move on to, to finer pastures, and now we can make room for a better, more relevant, more competitive approach, the business funeral. Which brings us to our next technique. When you make a decision, big or small, even how to behave on a telephone call, you, the way the mind works is we limit the choices. We make it a multiple choice. We say, okay, I can either do A, B, or C. And A, B, and C, those are the obvious, easy answers, the things you've always done before. But here's my suggestion. Instead of automatically choosing A, B, or C, ask yourself, wait a minute, is there a D? Is there an E? Or I like to say, is there an option X? Option X is that bold, unorthodox, unexpected idea, the one that makes all the difference. If you were to get on an airplane with your biggest prospect sitting next to you, option A, sit down, sell, sell, sell. Option X, give the seat to his wife. Little option X in action for you. This bike is called a Van Moof, hybrid electric bike used for city commuting, and they're sold direct to customers. The leaders of the company were facing a problem. The bikes were getting damaged at a very high rate during shipping. They were sent in big cardboard boxes, FedEx, UPS, getting all messed up. Well, the leaders all get together and they say, look, we have to solve this problem, what should we do? They started brainstorming and first the obvious and easy answers came forward. Someone says, well, let's just use thicker packaging material. Yeah, but that costs money. Someone else says, oh, what about one of those fancy white glove delivery services? Costs even more money. That's where most of us stop, the A, B, or C. But they kept going. They wanted to find that more elegant solution. One of the leaders says, time out. Think about a flat screen TV for a moment. Flat screen TV is about the same weight, about the same size box. How can people ship flat screens every day with no damage and our bikes are getting all messed up? Well, this led to a pretty cool option X idea. They didn't change the packaging material. They didn't change the delivery service. They didn't change a single thing, except they printed a flat screen on the box. <laughs> That's it, little extra ink. And the results? Damage rates were reduced by 70%. It's amazing what happens when we apply this option X, seeking the unexpected thinking, even to the most mundane, business challenges.